Wanderlust is a feeling that comes over most of us from time to time, for better or worse. There's just so much world to be explored out there, and it was beckoning once again. Back in February, I was down horrendous for some new scenery to point my lens at. And when you're down that bad, you tend to make not so great decisions. Evan and I had been toying around with the idea of taking a day trip, but the usual suspects just didn't seem quite as interesting at the time. Last minute trains to New York were too expensive, Pittsburgh was too far to do in a day, and we were way too broke for Atlantic City. But wait, what's that? Zoom in. Enhance. Huh. Wilmington, Delaware. I've never spent much time in the first state outside of the beach, but Wilmington's the state's biggest city at 71,000 people. There has to be something worth seeing in such a bustling metropolis, right? Right? We decided if there turned out to be four call to do in Wilmington, we could just mosey on down the road to Philly. But let's not get ahead of ourselves. Equipped with the Mamiya 645, half a roll of gold 200, and immeasurable misplaced hope, we set out. I probably should have known that the day wasn't going to go as planned when I couldn't find very many points of interest in the greater Wilmington area. Eventually, after much discussion, we settled on this mansion in the midst of a renovation. It took a while to find something worth shooting, but this rusty bike and these rusty powertrain components proved to be too good to pass up. Thank God I stopped and got that tetanus booster on the way. I'm not gonna lie, I felt pretty uninspired walking around this estate. Something about the midday light, the fact that there's construction materials scattered everywhere, and the fact that the 80mm lens in the Mamiya just wasn't able to capture the space left me feeling a little glum. This would be so cool if there wasn't scaffolding all over it. I snapped this picture mostly out of guilt for dragging us all the way out here. After a quick look at the river walk to no avail, we decided to regroup over some Greek food to plan out the rest of the day. I'm not gonna sugarcoat it. Wilmington was a bust. More like Will Midton, am I right? But I don't think it's entirely the city's fault. It was cold, it was a Sunday, and we were just two goofballs who rolled into town having done no research expecting to find a good time. Don't let my failure to plan taint your view of what I have been assured is a very nice city. I'll be back eventually, just probably not anytime soon. All right, remember that dastardly plan to move on to Philly if Wilmington didn't work out? Well, in the project management space, we would say that that risk had materialized, so the Philadelphia mitigation plan was in full effect. Let's re-roll the intro. Our first stop in the city was obviously D&B. Where else are you gonna go first? You're telling me Benjamin Franklin made this bridge? After this last shot that I totally didn't steal from Evan, I decided to switch to something a little bit more monochromatic, a roll of HP5 Plus that I'd be pushing two stops. If that string of words confused you, I've already created an entire video that should answer all your questions.
It was my first time shooting HP 5 Plus in 120, and I have to say I'm pretty pleased with the results. The grain is really nice even when it's pushed to 1600. That is the beauty of a larger negative. Evan's over there, waiting for his shot. You can't tell from the footage, but it was cold as fork and windy as hot dog. So we decided to move towards Center City in search of some more historic locations. The rest of the afternoon was kind of just spent dilly-dallying until it was time to eat again. Luckily, my friends Maddie and Zach knew a place. I don't think I created any work that was particularly noteworthy on this trip, but hopefully you got at least a little bit of enjoyment out of this video. Let me know down in the comments if there's any places more interesting than Wilmington that I should check out. Until next time, Philly. Thanks for being more interesting than Wilmington. See ya.